it's gonna be a what's in my bag video. Yeah. I wanna play more games, not no CPU. I wanna rhyme like Buster, sing like I should too. True. I need a million things. Cars, clothes, whips, grips, chains. They all wanna be like me. Play a little RPG. I wanna, I wanna play more games, not no CPU. I wanna rhyme like Buster, sing like I should too. I need a million things. Cars, clothes, whips, cribs, chains. I actually don't have a lot in here, but I like. I know that some of y'all are kind of curious about how that I make my videos. I should have cleaned my room up a bit more than what I do. First thing that I use in my videos is this X Series tripod. Is where's the where's the little right there? I know it's hard to tell because of the lighting. This is a really good tripod. I got this a target like almost a year ago for like $10. I was looking for a tripod and couldn't really find a good one. And then me and my friends went to Target for no reason. And I just picked this up because I was like $10. I don't have to look anymore. And this thing is super durable. Like I've bent this thing every which way. This is the tripod that I use for almost all of my camera work, except for right now I'm using a platinum a uh, sort of like mini tripod. It's like 36 inches, maybe 40 inches at full length. Uh, really solid tripod too. I'll leave like all the links for this tripod and that tripod in the description. I also use this one from time to time. I don't know what brand this is, uh, but I've used it a few times and it's kind of complicated to use because the suction cups, it only has, like I can only place it on like glass surfaces and I don't have a lot of those. I don't really use this one like that. Now when I want to make videos like using my phone when I'm in my car, I use this. It's a Vansky? Vansky? I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's pretty much for your phone, like, but people normally use it for when they use their phone as a GPS. I use this for when I'm, I want to make videos in my car with my phone and when I'm recording for the story time videos and my sort of spoken word videos that I've been working on over the past month and a half. I know y'all haven't seen any of those yet, but my one video, um, it's not like a questions video or like something personal, but the video like that is kind of how I recorded some of it. The mic I use though to record for those is a little Shure's mic. It goes... It literally just goes right into your phone and then I put my phone in here, it just slides up, it, like this whole part expands. So I just do something like real simple. Uh, this is not, this is a cheap good mic. Cheap, this costs me a little bit of money, but it looks like this, it's this small. Like I said, it goes like, it works for Apple devices only <laughs> i'm pretty sure they do have stuff for android but this is the one i got because it got pretty good reviews and i needed something small and something i could use and it took me forever to start using this because i was just thinking about what i wanted to do now way too much and just started doing it so this is what i use to record audio if i only want to record audio and it's pretty good like there's almost no what am i talking about almost there is no real background noise if you're in a quiet quiet area a good mic if you want it go pick it up i got mine from best buy and it's probably on amazon too now the two big things is my first drone it was a dji spark uh i wanted i wanted it sort of a smaller drone uh at first to start off with before i really really got into drones so i picked this one up this one definitely cost some money but if you ever plan to get a drone, you want it to cost you some money. This is quality, even for being sort of the cheaper, on the cheaper side of, of drones. It's quality, it shoots HD, um, gesture control, it has that. Only for pictures though, which is what made me mad. So pretty much you can control it with your hand and stuff like that, but it can't take videos, it can only take pictures. And um, that sucks. And I wish it was quieter for a smaller drone because I got it just in case I ever went in somewhere and I was allowed to fly and I wanted something that wasn't too, too small because I needed the, the video to be right or uh, I wanted the video to be clear. 
and I could fly this inside and have pretty good control of it while inside. So that's why I got this one. But then when I realized this couldn't do everything else, I started looking at other ones and then DJI decided to come out with their Mavic Pro. Or no, the, uh, not the Mavic Pro, which I do want. The Mavic Pro 2 is what I do want, but I didn't get that. I, got the, I ended up getting the Mavic Air. It looks like this. Has a little gimbal cover on it. The wings and, or arms. I don't know the technical terms, not that technical when it comes to this stuff, but um, they fold in, which makes it a lot easier to carry because it's annoying carrying around the case for this, which is smaller, and the case for this, which is much, th this is bigger. The battery life is better. This is what, this is like 16 minutes, and this one is around 20, like 21, 20, 21 minutes and like you could see the difference between these two this one is so much more capable for its size otherwise i would have had to save up more and then eventually wait for the mavic pro 2 to come out which i kind of do want now now that it's out because i also know that it's quieter and it's still a step up from this but this works perfectly fine for me just now this is the dji mavic air yeah plus i got the bundle pack so I have mad accessories for this. I have three different batteries for it. So that's an, I could literally be outside for an hour just flying this thing around, getting all sorts of crazy shots, especially the asteroid shot, which I don't know if any of you have seen, I'll put it in here real quick. That's one of my favorite type of shots that this drone could do because it's so different. It's almost like a um, like a tiny planet. Like if you're familiar with 360 videos, how you can make a tiny planet video, it's almost like that, but it's shot and it's shot and stitched together, all sort of in one motion. And it's like ten, it ends up being like a 10 second video. It's really dope. Yeah, this is like this is all my equipment. I record all of or most of my videos with my uh, Canon GX7. It's a power shot mark two and this is a pretty quality camera um it's definitely not the most expensive one you could buy but this is one like every youtube vlogger has every general youtuber has like, it's highly recommended for anybody starting out wanting to get into any sort of camera work or a uh, video creation and so it's what i went with and it's been reliable ever since i got it like i love this camera other people love this camera especially for the size it is it shoots like 20.1 mega Shoots in 20.1 megapixels. Super clear picture, the sound is pretty good on it. The only problem I have with it is just that I just wish I had like external mic ports because that would make dealing with sound so much easier. But sometimes you gotta take that out because I needed a camera and I didn't always wanna use my phone even though my phone also works perfectly fine. Back to the drones real quick. These are the cases. This holds the smaller drone, this holds the bigger drone. DJI. DJI, what smaller, bigger? Like, where was, who, who was, who's the genius behind that? This poor design, look at this. Look at, like, it's, it's two smaller drones. Like, what, what's going on? Y'all could have made this just as, you could have folded the wings in. That would have been so much more convenient. I would love this thing two times as much. But I still love this a little more. That's pretty much what's in my bag. Don't keep a whole lot. I don't even have a real camera bag, as you can see. Um, I don't even know if I'll necessarily need one. Everything is getting much more compact and smaller now. So for real, for real, I might be able to just rock with my backpack and like keep it moving like that for the rest of my life. Shouts out to Ikigai and Soul for making such dope clothes, yo. I love this. I love this hoodie. This like short sleeve hoodie. This drone is so dope. Y'all should see the back. Yeah, that's it. That's everything that's in my bag. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something different. I want to do more stuff like this. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I will definitely make one for next year because I will have more things next year. I'll have different stuff that I'm using next year because I already planned to, um, I've already planned out some purchases. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos.